Happy Good Friday! Can I say that? I wasn't sure, so I googled it, <laughs> and look what I found. The answer is no. While it is called Good Friday, it is a day of mourning for Christians. Therefore, people should not greet each other with Happy Good Friday. I disagree. Good Friday is an incredible day of celebration because we know that Sunday is coming and without Jesus' death on the cross, I would not have the hope of eternity in heaven with him. And so forgive me when I say, Happy Good Friday. Can I get an amen? Did something naughty and she needed a time out. But this was a couple years ago. She was four years old and it was right before Easter and the light bulb went off. And I thought this could be a really good teachable moment. And so I looked her in the eyes and I said, honey, I'm gonna take your time out for you. I will take your punishment so you don't have to have it. And then I was able to take the time out in her room. And when I came out, I told her that's what Jesus did when he came and he died on the cross. He did that so we didn't have to because we all have sin. It separates us from God. It deserves death. But Jesus decided to take the penalty for our sin, kind of to take our time out so that after he was in a three-day time out, I told my daughter, in the tomb, he rose again, came back to life so we could have life with him in heaven forever. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away, I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. God has good things stored up for you. That's right. Check out Psalm 31, verse 19. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you bestow in the sight of men on those who take refuge in you. Okay, but seriously, I picture like a storage unit in heaven with my name on it, Molly's storage unit. In fact, it probably says Molly's good things. And God unleashes those good things on me as I take refuge in him and delight in him. And he will do the same for you. I'm sure you have a storage unit somewhere in heaven full of good things that God is ready to give you. And he is a good, good father who loves to give good gifts. Amen. to you with bedhead and morning face because I think this is too good not to share. I was just reading Colossians 4, 6 and I turned it into a prayer. And my prayer for myself, and feel free to pray it for yourself along with me, is Lord, help my speech to always be with grace as though seasoned with salt so that I will know how to respond to each person. This is coming on the heels of a real tough conversation I had with someone yesterday Praise the Lord, because I've been praying this prayer, I just kept my mouth shut and let this person share what they needed to share. I wanted to say so many things that would not be helpful. <laughs> so it really helps to pray and to pray God's word specifically.